Yeah. We're back for some more Undertale. Yeah. Go, mom, sleeping. And Papyrus and Sans are just kind of there. We have the, two, the dipshit brothers. Alright, so. I was gonna do something. But I forget what. I don't know what you were gonna do. I think I noticed something. Let's see if that'll happen if I. Scoot, 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 scoot. Aw. I'm curious about something because it's kind of bothering me now. E. But, you'll see what I mean when I upload the first video of Undertale. Okay. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you, uh, in certain parts, like, in, like when you reach certain points and you try backtracking, Flowey will be sitting there at the end of, the, like, the hallway. Oh, that's weird. And then, and then, and then as soon as you see, see it in full view, he kind of just poofs away, or scoots into them, scoots back underground again. Oh, that's weird. And that's like, Flowey, what the fuck are you doing? Get away from me. Yeah, basically from this point on, I, or <clears throat> from the the one where we were at the fishing rod kind of thing. Yeah. I, I, it's it's blind play for me after that. So yay, blind pay, plays. Yay. Hi, Sans. <laughs> what? Hi, mu Hi, Monster Kid. Oh, sneaking out to see her too, huh? Awesome, but she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, you don't, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> all that, all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That one is, that's one of the constant constants of this world. You and don't say. Flower. It's one of the constants of this world. What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice the legal required breaks. I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to grill buys. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Okay. Back. I don't know. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Great day, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least in that half an hour. <laughs> You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Uh, here, get comfy. Okay. Whoopie cushion. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Watch where you sit down! <laughs> Sometimes weirdos put whoopie cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I want a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grow by. We'll have a double order of bird. A bird. Bird. It's a man of heat. Is he just coming to school? What? <laughs> I think Sans is coming to school. Oh my god, that's oh. funny. <laughs> I, didn't, I, was, I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, that was, that was hilarious. So, what do you think? My brother. Cool. He's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore an outfit like that every day. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Our Briggs. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the pot pours onto your food. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. 
Christ. What? <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to carry Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house, to the house of the head of the guard, and begged her to let him be in. And of course, she shut the door on him because it was bad, it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Wait. Have you ever heard of, of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They all... They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they will, they'll repeat it over and over. How about... what about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using must be using an echo flower to play a, a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Is he talking about flower? Probably. <laughs> well, that was a long break. I can't believe I left you. I let I let you pull me away from from work that long. Oh, by the way. I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just ten thousand G. I don't have that much money. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Okay. Right, boy, put it on. Put it on my tabs. It, it it like it like freezes a little sometimes. Oh. So. <laughs> by the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Okay, bye, Sans. I need my burger. Oh. The cab was getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start move. They're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the the erasure of our of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their slip onto their butts. <laughs> <laughs> what a douche! Sans is sa Sans is Sans is a sentry. Don't try. Don't let him. Don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading card magazines. He's that good. Sands is the most regular, regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. It's playing, it's playing poker against itself. <laughs> he appears to be losing. <laughs> Greater dog. <laughs> huh? Since when did you and Sands become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. <laughs> I was hoping hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper! I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. But then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults! We can handle it! Sans is interesting. He has told me all about all kinds of incredible foods, but Despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. <laughs> Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. I can't see the screen here. Here. There. there. No monster kid left. He's all over there now, so I'm gonna take the igloo. Yay, easy access. Yeah. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Just this is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you? Why would you though? You can't use items that are 
when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> eh, really fine. Oh, if I get hit by one of those rocks, I'll be like thrown down the waterfall. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see... Intimidation. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. No. We be friends. Um. Um. Don't move. Well, if that's not eerie as fuck. Spooky. <laughs> Hi, it's Monster Kid. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you? What do you? What do? You, what did? What do you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go watch her be some uh, some bad guys. Aw. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Oh, no safe. Okay. When four bridge seeds are lined in the water, they will sprout. I'll just put them on my head. <laughs> <laughs> they make squeaky noises. Really? Yeah. Yay! Who attacks me? Aaron flexes in! <laughs> I'm gonna flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. No, he's sweating! <laughs> Get your gross sweater from me. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you win! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number se sequentially until I got yours! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I am asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What do you say? Um, yes? So you are wearing a bandana! Got it! Wink wink! Have a nice day! Click. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on my bandage. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. Oh. Oh. Dang it. A long time ago. Okay. A long time ago, monsters would have whispered their, wi their wishes into the sky. Star in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we had are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. <coughs> Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, come on, sis, make a wish. Enemy. Washua. Shuffle. <laughs> um, a humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Sweet. Whistle as it cleans. Oh, Jesus. 
That was not expected. Let's Just clean you. Soon. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Take that. You win! Okay. What does it say? I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. What is this? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single ma human soul. But humans have have one weakness, ironically. It's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's almost... It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Things are getting... Things are getting... Getting pretty dark! Yeah. Oh. It's very shady over here. Oh, Jesus. Um, hi? Oh, no! Run! No, Jesus. No, you get... No. No! Oh fuck. Oh god! Spears! No, leave me alone. What did I do to you? No! Run! I'm in the bushes! You can't stop. You can't see me in the bushes. You're taller than the bushes. <laughs> this monster kid. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Are you okay? No. Did you just say that? Oh, that just touched me. <laughs> I never. I'm never watching washed in my face again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were just standing a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure it'll be here again. Poor Master Kid always falling on his face. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. <laughs> it's stuck to the table. Yes. Poor cheese. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mysterious crys ma mystical crystal fills you with determination. Hi, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's probably 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How is about it? Use a telescope? Yes. Pretty red. Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> oh my god. I'm rich! <laughs> uh, hi, sir. I re relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of the solution punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure, they're sure to get customers to come back. Nice cream. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Just wait for G. It's a little bit more spendy than last time. Super. Here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. Sure. Want 
tell your friends. There's an ice cream hidden in the very depths of the watery cavern. Two bugs in the box are playing a three card game. Take a card. All games will send one day. You got a punch card. <laughs> What's it do? Leave. You got a punch card. You can't get too much. Ah. Here, I'll eat an ice cream. And then I will take the card. You got three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice cream? They're free. Those three cards and got an ice cream. And we had, nah, I don't want to take anymore. I'll tell your friends, there's an ice cream in the watery depths. <laughs> oh, there's a box right there. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. Don't kill me. What's this way? Oh, this is where. Echo flower. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. This is super pretty here. Multiples! No. <laughs> it's a pair of ballet shoes. Do you take it? You got ballet shoes. Ballet shoes. Text attack power seven. These you <laughs> these used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I'll equip the ballet shoes. I'm so pretty now. <laughs> All I can think of is Kanji and ballet Great. shoes. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you what you told me you, you were wearing. A bandana! Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. But you didn't do it, did you? No. <laughs> so he did betray us. He betrayed us. Aaron. Flexing contest. Wink. I flex harder. No, he's sweating. Get your sweat away from me. I'm gonna flex again. He flex math himself out of the room. He looks kind of upset. <laughs> he kinda does that, Chloe. He lost his flexing contest. You hear a passing conversation? Don't say that, come on, I promise I won't laugh. If I didn't make us laugh. I got this I just got this feeling. The power to take their souls. This is the power that hum that humans feared. Okay. What the? What the fuck? What is following me? I don't know. Um. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a girl onion. <laughs> Like all my friends did. 
And their brain's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I, uh... That's okay, though. You hear? I'm dying. I'm gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out, out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, uh, there. Uh, th that's the end of this room. I'll see you later on. Have a good time. I'm wonderful. Bye, Onion Sand. <laughs> oh, this game. This game's too much. But Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow it carries you anyway. <laughs> Shiren, attack seven, two defense, tone deaf. She's too ashamed, but her sing. Sing her deadly song. Uh -huh. Sharon thinks about doing karaoke by herself. I will hum with you. You hum a funky tune. Sharon follows your melody. There was it. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. You hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert! Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you hum some more. The, the seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. <laughs> the crowd tosses clothing. In a storm of socks. You have more. They cut, but the constant attention, the tours, the groupies—it's all <laughs> aggressive too. <laughs> Sharon thinks about her future. You and Sharon have some have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. Oh Jesus! Yeah. We got 30 gold! <laughs> yeah. Yay. Where's Sans? And his toilet paper <laughs> tickets. <laughs> no room hides a great treasure. What is it? It's a piano. A haunting song that goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first date are fine. There's a piano here. Play it. Why do I feel like the Shiren song was supposed to be be how that's supposed to go? I don't know. 